Let's talk about callback functions in JavaScript. Callback functions, just like the name suggests, are functions in JavaScript that we pass into another function. And uh, the main reason why we do this in JavaScript is because uh, maybe we want to execute some logic isolated in a different function, but it needed to be called inside of another function, which that particular function depends on. Then we pass that uh, other function as a callback into the main function itself. The explanation might be a bit confusing, but uh, let me show you an example of what that looks like. Uh, if you look into my screen right now, we should see that we now have the comment, which says our callback function. And then let's write our main function in this case. Our main function is going to be main function. And then our main function, what is it going to be doing in this case? It's going to be accepting a callback function. So we say our callback as an argument in this case. And then first of all, let's log something to know that our main function is actually called. So we say main function called. So that's what we are logging. Uh, but how can we simulate that the callback function is going to be called after some certain time in this case? That's when we can leverage JavaScript as set timeout in this case. Set timeout is going to accept an argument. Uh, it's going to accept two arguments. The first one is a function call, which is also a callback in this case, but we're not going to be going into that. And the second one is uh, how much time you actually want the set timeout to, to be called. In this case, I would say three seconds. So now let's call the callback function inside of our set timeout. So we say callback and we're passing a message to it. We say callback function called in this case. So that's exactly what it's going to look like. But we also need to write our callback function, right? Because we need to pass the callback function into the main function. So let's write that. So we say function, my callback, my callback is not doing anything uh, interesting. It's just going to be accepting a message. And then we are going to be console.login that message. So now this is our two function. This is our main function in this case, and this is our callback function in this case, which is the function that we are going to be calling inside of our main function. But how do we call our callback inside of our main function? To call our callback inside of our main function, what we need to do is we need to say main function, and inside of it, we need to pass our callback as an argument. So we say my callback. And what is this going to do now? Now this is going to call our main function, and after three seconds, this is going to call our callback function. Let's see how that's going to work in our terminal when we try to run our code. So we say um, node index.js. Now we see main function called, and after three seconds, callback function called. And guys, this is how we write we write callback function in JavaScript. Follow me for more tech talk, and see you guys tomorrow.